Sportsnet.com for more. Conflicts in today's world are volatile, unpredictable, and can erupt overnight. If a crisis breaks out on the other side of the world, responding rapidly with the appropriate amount of force is the military's job. Nation states can become aggressive with very little or no warning. Hostilities can flare up suddenly after decades of uneasy peace. You have to be able to react fast. And when you're dealing with an enemy that's well prepared and deeply entrenched, you're gonna need firepower. Heavy artillery like tanks, howitzers, and missile launchers are a must. They're the hardware behind any serious attack, but getting them to the battlefield quickly has always been a problem. Traditionally, that kind of firepower is very heavy, and the heavier something is, the slower it tends to move. Ships can carry the weight, but they are slow, taking weeks instead of days. The biggest cargo aircraft in the NATO inventory is the mighty C-5 Galaxy. It can only hold one 70-ton Abrams tank at a time. For a serious first strike, what's needed is a weapon system that's lightweight and easy to transport, but can hit like a sledgehammer. Fort Sill, Oklahoma is the home of the U.S. Army's advanced artillery systems. I've heard they've developed an innovative answer for that desired capability. The future has arrived. Now, the exterior doesn't give much away, but this simple box is actually a highly portable, remote-controlled, front-line artillery weapon called the Enlos LS, non-line-of-sight launch system. Non-line-of-sight, or Enlos. It basically means you don't have to see it to hit it. look about as threatening as a portable toilet but in this case appearances are dangerously deceiving this simple harmless looking box can fire 15 missiles at 15 different targets at 15 different times great strategic mobility can get to where we need it with awesome firepower very quickly Colonel Gary Kinney is in charge of the Army's program to develop the new Enlos LS for deployment. For the first time, Mac, it provides the soldier and the commander in the field a very responsive, all-weather, long-range, precision fire capability against moving and stationary armored and non-armored high-value targets. And yet the whole package weighs little more than one and a half tons. Plus, the straight edge design means it can easily be packed into a helicopter, a boat, in fact, just about anything bigger than a pickup truck. Amazingly, once it's in position, the Enlos will sit patiently, waiting for further instructions. With the radio on board, you can leave this unattended, and it'll tell you the, the health of the missiles, how much battery life I still have. So you have a good reading at, at inter specific intervals you want of how well your system is without having to go out there with a person and check it. And the simple box shape means this formidable weapon system can be placed just about anywhere. The platform can be placed on the ground or it can be fired off a truck or the deck of a ship. So a lot more strategically mobile than something like a, a large multiple launch rocket system attract vehicle that's very heavy, a little bit slower to deploy. When it's time to launch an attack, the mission information is transmitted from a mobile command and control cell. The man with his finger on the button is Sergeant Mark Colley. Enlos LS allows you to completely do your mission within here before you send it to the weapon so you know where it's going, 
how it's going and you can actually direct it to different waypoints in flight. You got a fire mission that just came in. But in the field, the missiles can be launched using a simple PDA. To fire mission, from mission Q, the target will be here. Hit execute, you got 20 seconds to get out. It's time to reveal what's actually inside the box. The weapon of choice for this system is the Precision Attack Missile, or PAM. These are lightweight warheads armed with just 12 pounds of explosives. But don't underestimate their power. You don't have to have a 500-pound warhead to be effective against a desired target if you can deliver that payload with precision and accuracy. PAMs can cover a distance of 24 miles in just six minutes. But the real surprise is that these missiles can actually home in on moving targets, a huge advantage over regular artillery. The concept of, of hitting a moving target has been very difficult for a ground application because of all the terrain, trees, difference in heat signatures from the Earth itself. Thus, once we are able to put a radio on this missile, we've been able to provide that additional information so that the missile is at the right time, right location, so when it turns on its seeker, the target's there. During its flight, the missiles communicate directly with the soldier in the field, continuously updating its information so that it can seek out and strike targets with incredible accuracy. While that missile is in flight, that soldier or that observer can talk to the missile, tell the missile what direction and at what speed the target is moving so the missile can correct itself in flight and hit that target precisely. Think of that. Launching a missile and telling it while it's flying out, your target has changed course or I don't want you to hit that target anymore and be able to communicate with that. PAMs are even smarter than that. They can also find their target autonomously, following either GPS information or a laser designator spot. They can even identify their target visually using an onboard picture library. It knows, for instance, I want to attack a T-72 tank, and it will fly out to the location where that target's supposed to be, and it will identify, oh, that's a T-72 tank, and it goes after it. So it's not just a missile, it's a smart missile. It, absolutely, a smart missile and a precise missile. Whatever option it uses, the result is always the same. The target is history. And of course, you've still got another 14 missiles to go before you need a refill. But even then, it's a simple job to replace an empty canister with a full one all of which makes the Enlos LS a quantum leap in frontline artillery. It's easy to use, easy to transport, uh, low maintenance, no moving parts. So, I mean, it, it, it's gonna be a great system. I have my utmost confidence in this. The Enlos LS packs precision, mobility, and lethality into one launch unit. This is one box your adversary doesn't want opened just a phenomenal capability, something that we have not been able to do for years and years. One shot, one kill. One shot, one kill, that's our objective. 